What's going on, everyone? I left my phone over there. I don't want to go get it right now. Um, I made the mistake of Tiffany. I yelled at Tiffany a whole bunch. This isn't a Tiffany channel. I didn't mean to yell like that. I was just reaffirming that. Okay. So, also, uh, Sweet Leaf Bitch, I mean, Linda, what's up, Linda, and all that bullshit. Linda got a little, not moody, but I guess it's like her thing. I, mean, I told you, everyone just wants money. It's, it, everything else is extra, but I like stopped ordering food, and she's like, what happens to the food? And I was like, oh, I just got more smoothies. Because my stomach's shrinking, and when I first started eating sweet leaf, I, I, would, I would be like, this isn't enough! And I would want to get more of it, but now, like, I'm eating one thingy and I'm getting full, so now I'm just having, I'm doing, like, a smoothie fast, where I'm, like, basically shitting out all my lymph nodes and whatnot. But, I don't know. And then, they started flipping out, kind of, sort of, about why I always go to, like, I don't want to cook! If you cooked, I wouldn't go to sweet leaf, you stupid whore! It's right next door. I don't give a shit. Anyways. Um, then, see, I was yelling at her a lot because, look, everything was going fine, and she said that thingy about how she feels, but then, like, two days later, she's still in Korea, so I don't believe her. I started yelling at her again because I don't really want to have to make straw chosen stories. I want to talk about the legend of humor. And Dragonlance. Also, there's a bunch of, like, posers who are, like, stealing Nos Confundin's work. Look, totally, Admiral Bird proved that there was land beyond the ice walls. Is there a radar fence, like, in Black Panther that I've never seen since the stupid movie? Probably. Probably all over the fucking place. Probably in the national... Probably the, 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 the cities... And the civilizations we aren't aware of that exist and are more advanced than us probably all exist in the national parks where we're not allowed to go or fly or do anything unless it's a specific time of the year and stay on these little areas. Probably, right? Would make sense. Where are there mass? Why is America so fucking huge, but there then the the national parks are bigger than all of the states? Probably another country there, right? Right? Okay. That's not even going to, like, rock apes and all that bullshit. So the Nas Confundant theory is that every time there's a reset, some humans manage to escape. That's why I want to get my yacht and go beyond Antarctica. And the last human's from Tartaria. And again, my last name is almost identical with Tartaria. Anyways. They supposedly used their um, free energy technology... There are zero point modules to go beyond the ice wall and set up a camp called the Ancestral Republic or the Iron Republic. And Anakim or the giants helped them get there. The giants are like our cousins, so to speak, genetically. So I don't want to go into all that right now. It's too, I've done that a whole bunch of times before. And then that stupid oh, Tiffany horse showed up and started taking my money so I can't get my yachts, submarine yachts. Anyways, um... So I was yelling at Tiffany, and then she matched with me again at like 2 in the morning. At 2 in the morning, she matched with me, and it woke me up, or I saw it at 2 in the morning because the thingy beeped. And then I, I, just, I, I wasn't even thinking. I shouldn't have done it. I had chat GPT'd what would, what would uh, Don Juan... And Count of Monte Cristo and shit like that. How would they respond? So I responded like that. I was like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I started it all over again. And then I swiped some more on Tinder. Hopefully there's some Asian bitch that's not Tiffany, but it's probably still Tiffany. And then um, I went to bed, woke up, took a shit, and now I'm here. I don't... You're a ghetto used goods whore. You've had an entire... In 2018... I met you. We became soulmates. Okay, 2018 had just begun, and we became soulmates, according to her. And she was so excited about finding her soulmate, she had to go get pimped out to Babyface and make a bunch of shitty attitude music. Okay? Sure. Whatever. Career. Okay? Then, 
In 2002, she tells me, as Tiffany, we're soulmates, blah, 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 blah. And then she stole from a child to go get hoard around to a bunch of down low rap losers. I don't give a fuck what you do anymore. I just thought you were hot and you fucked it up by going hang out with a bunch of other losers and dudes and shit like that. Oh, but we gotta clap. I don't give a fuck. I do not give a fuck. Do I have to knock your dad's teeth out? Yes or no? So, I want to make Dragonlance stuff. I'm, I don't want to make robot stuff anymore. Tiffany ruined all that robot shit. It just, just left me. I don't want to do robots anymore. Instead, you know what's better than robots? Dragonlance! Dragonlance, they have the Law of Steel. In Kern, Kryn... In the in the in the in the in the in the in the, in the universe of Kryn, gold is worthless. Gold is like a penny. Gold, what does gold do? It has no value. Will gold save your life? Can you take gold and melt it down into a blade and forged of iron and steel and champion the cause against the dragons? No, steel. Steel is the most important metal. In Dragonlanceville, or Kryn, whatever it's called. Steel. The rule of steel. S-T-E-L. S-T-E-E-L. The law of steel. Right? And then Huma. Like, I'm making, I'm doing an abridgment. You know how, like, in the, in, like, the Roman times... Like, the monks and the friars would be like, oh, I have to take this book written from, like, the Ptolemaic times and put it into Latin. I'm doing that, but with Dragonlance and chat GPT. Because that's how important Dragonlance is. And then, um, so I won't tell you about Huma. I'll wait until I release. I'll tell you an abridgment of the son of Huma. Okay, so the legend of Huma is badass. Like, you'll get a, some of that soon. Okay? But then, the son of Huma is also badass. He didn't get a whole book, he got a short story. So, after Huma saves everything for being just totally Gene Starwin from Outlaw Star, and fucking Melfina, and all that bullshit, what happens is, the world is saved. And then, corruption and all that bullshit it turns out one of the heads of the government was really a plague lord a demon a demonic figure who ruled you know uh you know like viruses and disease and pestilence and all like fauci right <clears throat> and then they're like you know, the Plague Lord started, like, creating all these, like, extra monsters and summoning the dragons, and they were killing off the good dragons, and blah, 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 blah. And, like, the republics of the world that were standing up against the Plague Lord had formed this one union, and they were, like, taking their last stand. And they were like, we gotta win! If we don't win, we're gonna lose! Anyone who could fight, give them an armor and a, and a, and a spear. And this one dude rolls up, and they're like, fuck are you doing, you stupid runts? And he's like, oh, I'm here to fight. They're like, get out of here. And then like, they go and they fight. And then, you know, they lose. But that's just the first wave. It's like, fuck, we need everyone. Get get everyone. And then the little dude is like, dude, I'm here. I'm here. Send me in. And they're like, fuck out of here. And then they fight and they lose again. The, the next wave, they're like, dude, if, if we lose this next wave, we're done. And they're like, oh. like who could fight? And then he's like, I can fight. I can fight. He's like, fuck. We have no one left. Put him in with the other ones. Like, kid, I hate to do this to you. You're probably going to die. You're on the front line with a spear. Go. And then, turns out, that was the son of Huma, and he basically turns into, like, a fucking dragon and kills everyone and then flies away. That's how you do it. That's some Musashi style. That's Dragonlance. You guys don't know about Dragonlance. There's a, the other one where there's, like, a dark paladin and, and a light paladin, 
and they're like climbing um this mountain but on different sides i forget how it goes i think it turns out being that like, there's no good or bad there's just like being true to yourself or some crazy shit like that which means being good but dragon lance is better than k-pop i stand by that okay